From the Virgil, a production of the ANA Media Group and Consider It Done Productions. Award winning, aging, and awesome. Here are your hosts, Kai Sisson and Aaron Breen. Hello to our live studio audience and to all of you at home. Welcome to The Virgil and welcome to Aging and Awesome. Have we got a great show for you tonight. Oh, we do. We're gonna be taking you to the beautiful Wild Horse Sanctuary at Wynema Ranch, which is north of Reno, to share a story of the folks out there who run it, fulfilling their passion of seeing wild horses run free. Also coming up on the show. We'll talk with sleep apnea expert, Dr. Tammy Nujabauer, about common problems patients have and treatments available. And don't get scammed. Tim Johnston of the Better Business Bureau has some tips on avoiding all those scams out there these days. You know, on your phone, on the internet, and in your mail. And of course, Kai's got a new trivia contestant for us in his cab. But first, Wynema Ranch. It's a wild horse sanctuary north of Reno. Now, it was actually started by Shari and Eddie Floyd. Now, you might know Eddie from America Matters Radio. He's 74 years old, and he absolutely never slows down. But when he and Shari saw a way to help the Mustangs, they jumped in with both feet. Now the project is fueled by the likes of country singer Lacey J. Dalton and a national movement to protect the wild horses in the West. Up in Story County, the Mustang still runs free. The eagle soars above the pinion pine. The wild mustangs of Nevada have been the topic of many a song. And at the Wynema Ranch, north of Reno, the mustangs are a focus. Here, 120 of them run free on natural, eco-friendly habitat set aside for them as part of the wild horse sanctuary here. Eddie Floyd of America Matters Radio knows that all too well. You see, he lives on that ranch with his wife, Shari. Shari runs the ranch and I run my mouth. That's how it works. That was in 2005. She called me, Aaron, and said, well, you're not gonna believe this. Lacey has talked me into the following. I'm gonna sell all the cattle, and I'm gonna turn the Wynema Ranch into a wild horse sanctuary. To which I said, you've finally done it. You found a way we can go broke a lot quicker. <laughs> <laughs> Singer Lacey J. Dalton has been on board supporting this for years. She lived in this area and then moved away and realized she missed the horses of the Virginia foothills. The horses brought me back to Reno and they've kept me here ever since, but I wasn't here very long till I realized that these beautiful animals were in terrible trouble. We were encroaching on all of their habitat. They had no place to go. They were on the roads where they were danger to themselves and to motorists. Here, the horses can run free, away from hazards. Other wild horse rescue groups rally for their safety and keep them from slaughter and then bring them to this sanctuary to the north. When it comes to wild horses, roughly about 120 total, okay? With the biggest herd being 90, you know, up front. And uh, that herd is owned by a really great organization called Hidden Valley Wild Horse Protection Fund. A lot of the funding for the rescue groups and for this operation has come from Lacey J. Dalton and her musician friends. We do concerts, we sell, we make CDs. The CD I gave you called Wild Horse Crossing, we made that and everybody who made that record gave their performance, their future publishing, the songs that they wrote. They gave to the horses and we've raised thousands upon thousands of dollars with that CD. This really is a working solution on a working ranch. And while most are here to live out their lives, some are adopted out. The groups we like to help are the groups where we see horses being rehabilitated and rehomed so that that group can then have more horses come and more horses can have a chance to live. And seeing the Mustangs run never gets old. For those visiting, there is something about them that is absolutely, you know, the, the Arabs call the horses drinkers of the wind. They're a very spiritual animal. There's a lot of power in a horse. 
or for those who live among them. It's so unique to come home. All you have to do is look at them to realize how noble a creature it truly is. What's magical about it is when they decide that they want to move all at once. You'll see them all running from one location to another, and it's the most awesome thing you've ever seen. Amazing animals, Breen, wow. They are beautiful, and you know what? They welcome tours out there for school kids, and really anyone who wants to actually see the wild horses and catch a glimpse of them running. Just go to our website at agingandawesome.com, where you've got a link all set up there under the Feature Segment tab. Still ahead. TMJ, sleep apnea, and so many other issues of the jaw affect us as we age. Dr. Tammy Nugebauer is here with treatments. Scams are everywhere. Don't fall victim to them. Tim Johnston with the BBB is here to show us how to avoid them. Stay with us. Thinking about moving or downsizing? You should meet my good friend, Marsha Rambo, with Realty One Group Eminence, with over 35 years experience and specializing in helping older people. If you're looking for a home that better fits your lifestyle, Marsha is the right person for you. Thanks, Joe. I'm Marcia Rambo and I'm a realtor. I'll help you find the right home at any stage of your life. Whether you're considering selling your home or making a purchase, give me a call at 775-395-9133. Together, we'll make a plan that will best work for you. Call Marcia today and tell her I sent you. <laughs> Hello, I'm Dr. Tammy from the TMJ and Sleep Therapy Center of Reno. There are so many issues you might be experiencing from jaw pain and headaches to snoring, sleepiness, and difficulty concentrating. We are the only TMJ specialist in Northern Nevada providing comprehensive TMJ and sleep apnea treatment. We're proud to offer same-day imaging to get you on a path toward relief from your symptoms. Our non-surgical TMJ treatments will help you breathe, sleep, heal, and most importantly, live better. Call to make your appointment today. Aaron Breen here. If you have Medicare, you already know that good health care starts with choosing the right Medicare plan. That's why I'm here at the Medicare store, where they offer free, unbiased, personal Medicare advice. So come by or visit themedicarestore.com. Hablamos Español. Hello there. Now, I don't know if you've noticed this, but aging, it involves a lot of moving parts. It's almost like herding cats, which we all know is a really tough job. Now, just the other day, I finally decided, too much sitting around, it's time to get moving. You know, no really big commitment, just maybe a walk around the neighborhood or maybe a stroll around Virginia Lake. All doable, until I couldn't find my sunglasses. So I rounded up the tennis shoes and my jacket and my scarf, so I thought I was ready to go, but no glasses. The search for the glasses led me to the basement where I found a little laundry that really needed to go out to the clothesline, so I did that. And that's where I saw the garden tools. They kind of surfaced as the snow was melting. So I put those away in the shed. Oh, yeah, glasses. Not on the windowsill where they're supposed to be, not in my backpack, and I couldn't find them in my purse. But I did find a stack of receipts that <laughs> I didn't want to get lost. So I put those on my desk, and that's when my phone rang. 20 minutes later, I was back on the hunt for my glasses that turned up in a coat pocket. Ugh. With my glasses in hand, I realized I couldn't find the iPod. So I put down the glasses again to go looking for the iPod. And you know, that just all led to another lethal loop. You know, when you're just trying to get out of the house and go and do something? Well, by the time that I got it all together, the sun had dropped. It was cold. And you know, that's my excuse every time. It looks like it's just too cold outside. So I decided that 10 trips up and down my stairs, all around my house, that's gonna have to suffice for exercise for the day. And I put my shoes, my scarf, my glasses, everything where I could find them to try to get on a walk tomorrow. And instead I just took a hot bath. <laughs> okay, not as good for you as a vigorous walk. I'm gonna admit that, but you know what? It really was relaxing. And it gave me some time to think about how I might be able to get it all together for a walk tomorrow. Too bad good intentions don't burn calories. <laughs> For Aging and Awesome, I'm Aaron Breen. Reconvene with Aaron Breen is presented by the Medicare Store. The Medicare Store is local and gives free, unbiased, personal Medicare advice. Visit the Medicare Store today. 
Life is story. Pages of amazing adventure and narrow escapes. Bold steps taken, races run, chapters on love and heart lessons and new beginnings. Your life, your legacy, our privilege to serve. Morningstar Senior Living. Do you or a loved one live in a nursing home? Do you know that you have rights? All residents have rights guaranteed by the Federal Nursing Home Reform Law. They include the right to be treated with dignity and respect, to privacy, and to develop a comprehensive plan of care with the staff. Other rights include the right to be fully informed about care and treatment options and to file grievances. There are protections in case of involuntary discharge or transfer. Know your rights. For more information about residents' rights or questions or concerns, contact your long-term care ombudsman program. They are advocates that promote and protect the rights of residents in licensed long-term care facilities. Visit www.theconsumervoice.org for more information. That's www.theconsumervoice.org. Theconsumervoice.org. Have we forgotten? How difficult it is for older Nevadans to get to life-saving medical appointments. Have we forgotten how important connecting with others is? But what if you had neither? What would you do? The Nevada Rural County's Retired Senior Volunteer Program provides zero-cost transportation and companionship for older Nevadans in rural counties. Make a difference in the life of a senior in your community. Become a driver and friend for RSVP. The Better Business Bureau investigates and reports on scams that hurt consumers through the BBB Scam Tracker website. Here, some people share their stories and others educate themselves. And together, we empower our community. Aging and Awesome is proudly presented by Reno Regenerative Medicine. Do you experience joint stiffness, tingling, burning, numbness, back or neck pain? Have you been told drugs and surgery are your only options? Reno Regenerative Medicine empowers patients to heal naturally, avoid unnecessary drugs and surgeries, and get to the root cause of your pain. Reno Regenerative Medicine, located in South Reno and in Sparks, is ready to evaluate and help alleviate your pain so you can get back to doing what you love. Call family-owned Reno Regenerative Medicine at 775-218-9236. Eden Home Health is Northern Nevada's highest rated home health for quality of patient care. You have a choice. Ask your doctor for the best in-home health care, Eden Home Health. And Eden Hospice. The personalized care team at Eden Hospice is dedicated to focusing on your loved one's quality of life during a difficult time. Eden Hospice's mission is to ensure dignity for every patient. Find out how Eden Hospice can help your family by calling 841-6123. Welcome back to Aging and Awesome. Sleep apnea is a common disorder with older people, with as many as one third of people over 65 having some sleep apnea, according to a recent study. That's a lot. We have Dr. Tammy Nujabauer here with the TMJ and Sleep Therapy Center of Reno on the show to help us assess how we can tackle this challenge. Dr. Nujabauer, thanks for coming. Thank you. Uh, sleep apnea, one third of older people. Yeah, it's what is crazy, it? right? The sleep apnea happens when you go to sleep at nighttime and your jaw falls back and your tongue falls back and it collapses your airway. It can last 10 seconds or longer, and sometimes we have a desaturation of your oxygen levels from three to 4%. So basically you're suffocating while you're sleeping at nighttime. That's, is that snoring, essentially? Snoring is one part of a sleep disorder breathing, but apnea happens to be where there's no airflow through it, so it's actually silent. So most people who snore, likelihood of them having sleep apnea is extremely high. So for those at home that have dentures, why is this something that might affect them more likely to? So if the patients lost their teeth, most likely they had an airway obstruction that may have caused that. But when you lose your teeth, it actually narrows your airway. So the chance of you having worse than sleep apnea is actually higher in people who are edentulous. So um, an important thing to evaluate. So when you're assessing people, do you have to do a sleep study? How does that work or do they 
tell you that this happens, but they're asleep. So how do they know they have it? So, and that's the confusing thing. So as a dentist, everyone wonders why I'm asked. I'm into sleep apnea. So I start with the health history. A lot of our patients are hypertension. They've had a heart attack. They've had a stroke. They're diabetic. They're taking three medications for blood pressure. And they're also taking sleep medications because they can't sleep. I ask certain questions. Well, how do you sleep? Do you go to sleep? Do you stay asleep? And do you feel rested during the daytime? If at any point that they say no, then I, I evaluate even further. So when I look into their mouth, I see a lot of signs and symptoms of sleep oh. apnea. So clenching, grinding your teeth, decay, periodontal disease, anything in the oral cavity that could be a result of it. We look at tongue. So is your tongue too big for your mouth? Does it have scalloping? Can I see an airway space in the back of your throat? Those are all things that we look at to see if they have signs and symptoms of sleep apnea. You mentioned high blood pressure. A lot of people have high blood pressure, so that's connected to sleep apnea. A hundred percent, and that's what I think is misunderstood. So when you go to sleep at nighttime, when you have that suffocation event, a lot of times there's increased pressure of the chest cavity, and that heart has to pump harder mm. in order to get oxygen to the rest of your body. So oftentimes that can affect the blood vessels. The blood vessels become more roughened, attract more um, bad cholesterol, and create plaques. Wow. And oftentimes the result of it is a heart attack, a stroke, or people don't wake up in the morning. Whoa. It's extremely severe. And what is treatment exactly for sleep apnea? Um, so standard care is the PAP therapy, positive pressure. We make the oral appliances as an alternative to CPAP, usually for mild, moderate sleep apnea and people who are intolerant of the machine. Okay. There's surgical interventions. We use a night laser therapy, which is a laser therapy to help strengthen the oral pharyngeal tissue. So you, that's, you can do that, but also it sounds like there's non-invasive too. Correct. But that's probably, is that the main way you treat it with the laser? It's usually oral appliances. It depends on the sleep physician and their order of what kind of treatment they'd recommend. Well, Dr. Nujabauer, how do people get a hold of you if they might be having some of these symptoms? Um, our inside? office is the TMJ Sleep Therapy Center of Reno, uh, 9710 South McCarran. Our phone number is 775. 786-3472. Yes, they have a beautiful office there on 4th and McCarran in Reno. Dr. Nujabauer, thanks so much for coming on the show. Thank you. Closed captioning for Aging and Awesome is brought to you by... At Reno Eye Institute, you'll get the attention you deserve from a doctor who cares. I came to Dr. Freeman because I needed cataract surgery. I needed it on both eyes, and Dr. Freeman was one of the few who could get me in right away. He cares about me, and I love him for that. You know, I can't say enough as to how well he takes care of you. At Reno Eye Institute, our focus is you. Now accepting new patients. Call Reno Eye Institute today at 4517268. Welcome back to Aging and Awesome. Look who's joining us today. Tim Johnson from the Better Business Bureau. Talking all about scams. Now, we were talking a little bit before this interview and you were telling me one thing that seems to be surprising, it was surprising to me anyway, is that not very many people who even suspect a scam bother to report it. You know, the, the typical number that we would usually use from the Federal Trade Commission is about 10% or less of people would actually report being victims of scams. And that's really small when you think about the overall right. population. But a recent study by somebody from the Federal Trade Commission found that about 5% or just under 5% of people actually report to agencies like the Better Business Bureau as a nonprofit organization or to say like the Federal Trade Commission or law enforcement agencies. So if you hear numbers of hundreds of millions or even billions of dollars being lost, but only Imagine. about, about 5% of people reporting, yeah. why those numbers are really potentially much greater. Why do you think people don't bother to, uh, I mean, you make it easy with the Scam Tracker. We, we do make it easy at BBB Scam Tracker for individuals to report whether or not they've lost money. And what's nice about it is you're able to tell others about it so people can go to the website and see what's being reported, help confirm if, they, if the gut's telling them it's a possible scam, they can see, oh yeah, Other somebody- Other people got it, yeah. Right, and then the information that we gather, we provide to the Federal Trade Commission as well for them to be able to share with law enforcement to help with their investigation. Investigations. Now, obviously, if you've immediately lost some money, you should reach out to your local law enforcement, whether it's the police department or, or sheriffs. But we want, want to encourage people to report whether or not they've lost money because it does help others to 
you know, be aware of scams and hopefully prevent them from being taken. It also helps law enforcement as well. They're coming from all angles because but, and if, whenever you're online, I mean, they're coming from all around. Well, you and I were talking about emails that you receive yeah. and, you know, whether it's an email and now scammers are using text messages as well because we're just being inundated with the amount of emails. And so if you get something from, say, your bank and it's saying that there's some suspicious activity, click this link, give us a call. You might be thinking, oh man, what's going on with my account? Mm -hmm. Don't click on that link. Don't call that number. Right. Never click on the link. Yeah, never click on a link. But go to the website that you're used to going to or call the number that's on the back of your right. card or from your statement or stop in at the branch and find out is something suspicious going on. Because you know, older people, when you see something that comes in to your email and it says, you know, you've got 12 hours to take care of this or we're gonna close your account down and we're gonna turn your computer off for you. you you think they're gonna be able to do it. You know, scammers like to use tactics like threats and, yeah, and urgency to, to scare you into doing something right now. And those are the times where you need to stop, breathe, and then reach out to somebody you know and trust, a family member, a friend. If you don't have anybody like that, reach out to the Better Business Bureau and say, hey, you know, I got this text, I'm a little concerned. It's a term called phishing, trying to get you to, to go to a website that maybe looks like your bank and puts in your personal information. Um, something else to be thinking about is make sure you do research. You know, if you're doing business locally, more than likely you know who the company is and, and you've had relationships with them. But if you're shopping online, you maybe not, don't know who's behind a particular company. So make sure that if you do use social media, that you look at your privacy settings. You want to make sure that you are connecting with people that you know and that you trust and don't provide personal information online, especially nothing financial or anything along the lines of Social Security or Medicare information. And make sure that with those privacy settings that you're looking to, to connect only with family and friends. And then we should always check in with the scam tracker. Right, bbb.org slash scam tracker. And if you don't like doing things online, you can always reach out to BBB directly. You can call him. You can get Tim Johnston on the phone. I know, because I have. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much for joining us here today. Well, thank, you. thank you very much. Tim Johnston with the Better Business Bureau. Arbor's Memory Care is proud to have served seniors in Reno Sparks with Alzheimer's and other forms of dementia for over 20 years. At Arbor's, it's families supporting families. We offer a unique partnership between our family of compassionate caregivers and your family to care for your loved one. When you choose Arbors, you are partnering with a team of highly trained, compassionate professionals to provide the best care and quality of life possible. Our services are offered at one worry-free, all-inclusive fixed price. Let us welcome your loved one and family into the Arbors family. Eden Home Health is Northern Nevada's highest rated home health for quality of patient care. You have a choice. Ask your doctor for the best in-home health care, Eden Home Health and Eden Hospice. The personalized care team at Eden Hospice is dedicated to focusing on your loved one's quality of life during a difficult time. Eden Hospice's mission is to ensure dignity for every patient. Find out how Eden Hospice can help your family by calling 841-6123. Living at Lakeside Manor, an independent senior living community in the heart of Reno, means pleasure for the residents and peace of mind for their families. Rooms are available now starting at $15.80 a month. Take a tour of Lakeside Manor today. Envy Legal Docs LLC, they are the Trust Masters, is a proud sponsor of Aging and Awesome, providing affordable wills, trusts, and estate planning document services. They are much different than your typical expensive law firm, offering flat fee pricing customized for each family. Having a trust is so important, and the Envy Legal Docs team will explain at their no cost, no pressure seminar. Book your spot today and give them a call at 775 683 3100. Living Trusts, don't leave Earth without one. If you're 64 or 65 and newly eligible for Medicare, you only have a few months to enroll or you may incur a late enrollment penalty. By understanding Medicare now, you'll have time to get a full picture of the choices that are right for you. Join experts from Senior Care Plus for a free ABCs of Medicare seminar to learn about Medicare and the options available to you. Sign up at SeniorCarePlus.com or call 775-982-3158 today. Ba -da -ba 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 -ba. Welcome back to Aging and Awesome and welcome to Kai's Cab. Today we have a brand new contestant. Who's back there? Judy Reed. Judy Reed, welcome to Kai's Cab. Thank How you. are you? Thank you. I'm I, good, I think. Having fun today? I am, I am. You're happy, healy, active, ready to go? As far as I know, yes. <laughs> as far as I know. Well, welcome to Kai's Cab. Have you seen the show before? 
Uh, once. Once? Good. Well, now you're going to watch because you're going to be on TV, right? Uh, I, that's <laughs> okay, I guess. <laughs> well, here's the rules. Judy, get three out of four questions right today, and you're a winner of a fantastic prize. We have chocolate from the chocolate shop in Gardnerville for you, but you got to get three out of four questions. You ready to play? I guess. Here we go, Judy. Question number one. In which city can you find the Liberty Bell? Is it A, Washington, D.C.? B, Boston, C, Philadelphia, or D, Manhattan? I would say it was probably C. That's correct, Judy. <laughs> Remember the Liberty Bell restaurant over there yes. by the convention oh, center? Oh, yes, I wish they still had it. Me too, what a what a Reno classic that's yes. uh, been gone that for a That was sad while. to see that go. Yeah, yeah, but anyway, Liberty Bell is in Philadelphia. Used to kind of have one here in Reno. Yeah. <laughs> but let's uh, get the next two right, you're on a roll. Question number two. Which U.S. state is known as America's Dairyland? Is it A, Minnesota, B, Iowa, C, Pennsylvania, or D, Wisconsin? It's either one or two, or four. So it's either, let's see, Minnesota or Wisconsin? Uh-huh, and I would say maybe Wisconsin? <laughs> Wisconsin is correct, America's <laughs> Dairyland. Good, good, all right, you gotta get the next one right and you win. Okay. In the movie Men in Black, what are the two FBI agents hunting? Is it A, serial killers, B, ghosts, C, aliens, or D, time travelers? Remember that movie? Aliens. Aliens, do you remember the movie? No. <laughs> oh, so you're guessing aliens? Yeah. <laughs> well, that was a good guess, Judy. Congratulations, you win. Oh, good, woo! What are you gonna do with your chocolate? Probably eat it. <laughs> Duh. Good, good. Well, I like to ask everybody in the cab, hey, you got 15 seconds of fame to say anything you want to the world. What is it? What wisdom do you wanna pass on? I just hope everybody stays healthy. Stays healthy, right? I agree, yes. as long as you can. Yes. Judy, thanks so much for coming on. We appreciate you, congratulations. Thank you very much. Kai's Cab is presented by Senior Care Plus, the only Nevada-based not-for-profit Medicare Advantage plan serving Washoe County, and Carson City, Senior Care Plus, for the healthiest reasons. That's all the time we've got tonight, but we do want to invite you to be a part of Aging and Awesome. As always, please send your ideas, even your challenges, whether in highlighting a problem or in showing how you solved it. And you can reach us through our website, agingandawesome.com, or you can email us at agingandawesome at gmail.com, or you can even give us a call and just leave us a voicemail. We do want to take just a moment here and thank our community stakeholders who make this all possible. Be sure to consider them as they're truly advocating for the well-being of older Nevadans in so many unique ways. So a big thank you to Trustmasters, the Medicare Store, the Better Business Bureau, Eden Hospice and Eden Home Health, Nevada Rural County's Retired Senior Volunteer Program, Morningstar Senior Living of Sparks, Reno Regenerative Medicine, Lakeside Manor, Marsha Rambeau with Realty One Group Eminence, Nevada Aging and Disability Services Division, Reno Eye Institute, the TMJ and Sleep Therapy Center of Reno, Arbor's Memory Care, and Senior Care Plus. On behalf of our cast and our crew, we want to thank everyone for inspiring all of us at every age to be aging and awesome. Absolutely. We'll see you all right back here next week, Saturday at 7, only on KTVN. Until then, good night.